Three Minute Mastery from Module 3, Heat Pumps. Uh, think back to what we talked about in Module 2, Heat Engines. Uh, we intercepted some energy flow, used that energy that we intercepted for work. Now what we're going to do is introduce work and cause energy to flow from one reservoir to another. So in the heat engine scenario, energy flowed from some hot reservoir to some cool reservoir and we were able to intercept that process uh, and get work out of that system. That is different than a heat pump. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. Take a look at the directions of the arrows. Here these flow from, the energy flows from uh, the hot reservoir to the cool reservoir. Here we're taking energy from the cool reservoir and adding it to some hot reservoir. And the only way to do that, the only way to pump energy uphill is to introduce work into the system. So let me go back to the heat engine for a second. Let's say we have some hot reservoir, like a cup of hot cocoa, and some cool reservoir, maybe a classroom. There's gonna be some heat that flows from the cocoa to the classroom. Uh, if the temperature difference were great enough, then we could intercept some of that heat flow, capture it, and do work. Maybe drive a fan, a small fan, something like this. In a heat pump scenario, we have some cool reservoir, say a living room, and we have some hot reservoir, maybe the outside on a hot summer's day. Well, we can cool off that living room even more if we introduce work. If we plug in some air conditioner and turn it on and introduce work, then we can take the heat from this cooler room and pump it into the outside. So what I'd like you to do for your notes is find some other examples of heat pumps. I mentioned air conditioners. What else?